Well, as I was lock, walking along the side of this little pond way over there, I started walking towards over here, and right in front of my path. Take a wild guess. All right, guys, what's up? Uh, well, what you saw in the camera is what um, is known as the canebrake rattlesnake, or Crotalus horridus. Now this is one of the three species of rattlesnake we have in North Carolina. We have the Eastern Diamondback and the Pygmy Rattlesnake, as well as these guys. Now I'm thinking this is a little female, a young female, because her tail is really short. Oh, she's getting agitated. Now the, now the canebrake rattlesnake um, is easily identified by that orange stripe that runs down the middle of the back. And uh, that light body coloration and uh, and as it goes down the body, the tail starts to turn black. And you might be able to see a couple bandings here and there. But uh, these guys are uh, close relative to the cottonmouth and the copperhead. Except this one's a lot more venomous. And this thing could actually probably kill me with the bite. They average about 4 to 5 feet in length. And they can get about 6 feet in length. But males usually get bigger than the females. And... Uh, just amazing looking snake. It's got those chevron bandings and their face is just amazing. They got those beautiful eyes, the heat pits which are highly pronounced as you can see and just overall amazing snake. And it looks like she's got a little tiny rattle although it sounds really loud. And these snakes really are not aggressive. You know most of the time they won't even rattle until you're just about to step on them because they don't want you to know they're there. They just they just want to go on through life without being persecuted and tormented. They just want to eat, sleep, reproduce, and that's really all that they do, you know? Just like we do, almost. They have a, a really important role in the environment. They eat hundreds and hundreds of rats every year. And uh, they also eat squirrels, which is a cool thing. They'll actually wait at the base of trees with their head pointed up the trunk, just waiting for a little squirrel to come down. Um, just amazing. I can't really explain how beautiful they are. And, uh, you know, there's no really reason for me to touch them because it's such a huge risk. So I'm just gonna, you know, let him, her, sit there while I talk. And there's no reason for me to touch it. Cottonmouths and copperheads are one thing, but a rattlesnake is way more venomous. And plus, like, I never realized how far they can... Almost got an iridescent sheen on those black scales, almost like velvet. Their belly's a cream color with little speckles and stuff. Just amazing looking snakes. I mean, they're just so easy to identify. It's probably gonna rattle here soon. Go on.